Hey babes, what's up? It's Haley and welcome back to my channel. You guys, welcome to another episode of the Finding My Style series. And today we're going on our first thrift trip. As you can tell, I'm really excited. This is probably the episode I've been waiting for. I just want to film my wardrobe of a bunch of things that Haley genuinely loves, specifically fall things because we're gearing towards a new season right now. So that being said, I want you guys to keep in mind we are not going to be on the hunt for specific fall trends. We're really just shopping Haley's wish list. So I'm really excited for all the things we can find and hopefully all the fall info you guys can get. Speaking of fall, I got a show you my fall nails you guys i'm absolutely obsessed with these neutral nails with like the little brown accent and you want me to really blow your mind you guys these are press on nails today's video is actually sponsored by impress nails they're a press on manicure by kiss these impress nails they're trendy they're fashionable and they're honestly ready to wear in the sense that you don't need any glue whatsoever they actually come with the self-adhesive on the back they can just peel off the little tab and you can press them right on they're safe they also work on natural nails their new and improved nails feature a pure fit technology which makes them super super thin and they're also really comfortable to wear you guys applying this is so easy there's no mess there's no chipping there's no smudging there's no getting it on your skin and best of all no dry time i actually applied this set right before i came on my thrift trip my hands looked like little boy hands before but the application is so easy each kit comes with 30 nails with accent nails included and it also comes with a prep pad a mini file and a little manicure stick as well after opening up the package i just start off sizing my nails each nail actually has a little number on it so you can easily indicate which nail would fit which finger first thing i do is just take the manicure stick and push back my cuticle the next step is the prep pad. You do not want to skip this at all. This is probably the most important step. The solution on this pad gets rid of any oil or dirt that's built up on your nail and it will help the adhesive stick on so much better so that you can have long lasting wear. Your prep is all finished. Now all you want to do is peel back the layer. The tab that is facing towards you is the tab that you're going to be putting at the base of the nail and just press down. The firmer and longer you press, the better the adhesive will hold. And once you do it to all your nails, that's it. You're done. This whole idea of the press and go is amazing. It's such a time saver and it really ensures that you get a perfect manicure every single time let me just say each little kit also retails for $11.99 canadian that's probably the cheapest manicure you will ever buy yourself so try these out for yourself guys especially for back to school season i really think these come in clutch and without further ado let's get into some fall thrifting y'all So I just thought it would be super fitting for us to start off where I always start off in the fall and that is the hoodies and the crew necks. You guys, I love this section, always. I always end up finding the coziest things to wear here. And I gotta say, I do prefer crew necks over hoodies. I feel like they're a little bit more comfortable for me to wear because they have more give around here. Oh my gosh, you guys remember when I used to just find a bunch of champion crewnecks all the time? This one I genuinely love because of the navy. I've been so into navy lately. I do have to say, I'm gearing a little bit away from like the huge logos, but in terms of comfort, the champion sweats are definitely the best out there. So for that reason, picking this baby up. Oh, I see a new rack. Oh my gosh, I gotta go check that out. <laughs> right here in the new rack, you guys, automatically, I was really intrigued by this flannel. It is so perfect, it is so soft, and I really love all these like rustic fall colors. I think this one will fit so well too. It's just so cozy. And finding that flannel, you guys, just really made me want to find some more flannel. So I'm here right now in the men's like dress shirt section, and I'm gonna see which ones I could find. I, I'm on the hunt for like a navy and white one. I saw this one on Urban Outfitters that I really like. So when it comes to the flannels, you obviously want it to be very cozy. I personally try to steer myself away from ones that feel like 100% cotton. They're like very thin and they have no fuzz to them. Instead, while I'm not crazy about this pattern, you could kind of see that the texture of this one is a little bit more soft. And these are the flannels that end up washing very well and give you that perfect slouchy look. Here's my tip for finding like cute flannels over ones that look really cheap. Try to stay away from ones that have like very intense primary colors like this. And their plaid is like super, super bold. I prefer something a little bit more minimal. That's kind of why I went with this one. It's more neutral and it's less squarey. See how like this is very square? And this one has like plaid within plaid. Okay, there's actually a mirror right here. So I wanted to go ahead and try on the flannel because there's no change room. So we got to make do. I love that this one is very like lightweight and airy. And also keep in mind, in terms of the drop shoulder, that's a very good indication to know it's a flannel that fits you well. Because as you can tell, the shoulder seam right now, it's not so low. It's like right up here, which is exactly what you want. Are you like a YouTuber? Yeah. No way. 
Hey. Yeah. What's your Hi. name? I'm Fizza. Fizza. She's an employee here. Yes. Which is literally the best thing. She probably finds the best stuff. I'm I assuming. Do. And I get 50% off. Oh my god, don't tell me that. Oh. Are we best friends? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, she was so sweet. What was I even saying? I don't remember. I feel like it is so cute, especially with like a smaller top underneath and some baggy denim. I love this one. I have one more that I wanted to try. I'm gonna be honest, it's a little bit stiffer, so I don't know if it's gonna lay the same way. Oh, this is not a pleasant fabric. Uh-uh. Uh, I do like the pattern, but no, this is like such a stiff fabric. It just felt like it was washed way too many times. Listen, sweatpants are one of those things that a lot of people don't like to wear out. I personally feel like if you have something cute going on up top, you can balance it out with like a baggy, slouchy pair of sweats. Men's sweats are always the most comfortable for me. Oh, here's some navy sweats. I actually do not have navy sweats. They are literally in perfect condition and they also have the jogger bottom, which I love. Look at that, they have them in black too. These ones do look like they are more worn and I do have a black pair at home, so I'll pass on these. So men's denim, I have to say I always love shopping for denim in the men's section, but I am really content with my denim collection right now. I don't think that I need any more, which is like, hallelujah, Haley's finally saying that. But I just came to like browse whatever they had. I found these, they're in a really nice wash. And I thought they were Levi's because look at this, this looks exactly like Levi's. They're called Free World Jeans and this tag is not a Levi's tag. So fake Levi's, but you know what? They're cut and their wash is beautiful. But Haley's got enough denim, so I'm gonna tuck you right in with your friends. And the men's vest, I just had to show you guys because this is literally one of those things that I discovered that I don't actually like. It's the big oversized vests. These were so popular last year, and to be honest, for someone who loves this trend, this would be perfect because it's brown, it's argyle, it's a vest. Everything a lot of the trendy Pinterest girls want right now. And y'all, I found the most perfect perfect fall skirt it's this one right over here just look at how freaking cute this would be imagine like a navy sweater paired on top of this like so nice and again even though it's like a pleated skirt it's definitely longer like that is definitely a longer skirt that i'll feel comfortable in i hope it's in my size because it does say that it's a size 11 to 12. this pattern is stunning it's literally the best thing to have this fall and i'm excited to pair this together with some new looks in the women's denim now and i'm so in love with vintage calvin klein jeans i feel like they fit so well these are in this amazing kind of like limish green color and i know that a lot of people say that color is very in for fall right now especially this year people are wearing like super vibrant colors like green and pink and yellow i personally always like to tone it down and wear neutrals in the fall so as much as this is a trend right now it's not something for me so something i noticed that i personally pin a lot is leathers like leather jackets leather pants especially for the fall i think it's a really nice fabric to dabble in i love the neutral color of this one it does look super old school it's kind of faded in some places but i think it gives it a lot of character i found this one also which is kind of like a longer line and i think it could look really nice if it's not going to fit too oversized because it is an extra large and then this green leather one is actually really cute too more of like a blazer kind of fit this first one i have a good feeling about because i do really like the color and it is on the smaller side Ooh. the shoulders are a little bit broad for my taste but it's a nice color i feel like it's a little bit too boxy yep way too big and i don't know if i like the really long style on me after all this time still something on my list looking for blazers and um what you guys holy did i just oh my gosh that's insane it's like so lightweight i feel like this could be such a good like layering jacket for fall and even the shoulders like fit me really well i think they took out the shoulder pads that were in here mm, i love Okay y'all, we gotta talk about something. In one of my last videos I discovered a new look, and that's trousers. I tried on a pair at Aritzia and I fell in love with it and a lot of you guys said it looked so good on me, which thank you. So here in the women's section is actually where I want to go ahead and find them. The great thing about the women's section is a lot of the pants and the trousers that are donated tend to be from a long time ago when it was actually very popular for people to wear their trousers very high up. Here are just a couple of examples. Especially in the 90s, a lot of women wore their trousers very high-waisted like that. And I'm kind of open to anything, color, print, Flat, obviously because it's fall or even a nice classic white brown or black this pair right over here is such a beautiful color but honestly this is like a tiny tiny waist I think it's like a size zero typically don't like gray but this is like a nice ashy gray I think they're gonna look so nice on let me show you in the mirror like these gray trousers very very baggy wide leg so with fall and all the layers that we have going on in looks, accessorizing is so important and I love adding a pair of sunglasses to complete an entire outfit. I personally really like like the 90s very small frames just like this. So I'm gonna grab a couple just to try on. And these ones, oh my gosh, yes, these are perfect. 
They're like slightly square, a little bit small. These will look really good. This piece was pretty cool to find. It's just a denier extra small leather vest. In one of my last videos, you guys saw that I actually picked up a white vest like this from Maritzia. I feel like black is a little bit harder to pair, but it's so beautiful, the gold buttons and everything. Not so much my style. I've seen some girls on Pinterest do it amazing. I just don't think I can, but still such a cool find. Okay, not that I would wear this myself, but I'm still someone who appreciates just like really cool tops and I love all the things that are going on here. I feel like if cottagecore aesthetic is your thing, this would have been such a cute little piece. And otherwise, I actually found this um, Nike long sleeve here. I just picked it up because I genuinely love orange and this one looks like it's brand new. I feel like I could probably crop it with a pair of jeans. That could be a nice outfit if I'm going for like a more tomboyish casual vibe. Y'all, this is by far one of like my favorite thrift trips ever. We found so many freaking goods. You guys, for the first time in what feels like so long, I actually think that was like my favorite thrift trip. Every single piece I got is genuinely one I'm so excited to wear in style. And it's just so nice to be able to go in with like such a clear mindset of what I genuinely like and what I'll really wear. So stay tuned for the next video, you guys. I'm actually gonna take you through and build so many different outfits with a lot of the new pieces I bought both in store and thrifted as well. It's gonna be a really good one. So stay tuned, subscribe down below if you haven't already. Love you forever and always, and I can't wait to see you in my next one.